What up, blockheads? You're asking yourself after that last install video, why is this stock air cleaner back on here? I might have mentioned it in a previous video, but the uh, air cleaner that I went with, which is that one there, Roland Sands Black Ops Turbine, awesome air cleaner. But unfortunately, since this bike has forward controls, that thing stuck out like right here. Your legs go at this angle, right? So your heel sits there, your legs basically going like this, and that air cleaner would dig into the right side of my leg, or dig into my right leg, right about here, and over uh, a couple trips, it started to hurt my leg. So unfortunately, since this bike does have forward controls, it's not really made for air cleaners like that. You guys know those air cleaners that basically curve around forward like this one. I mean, not quite like this one. This is a very special air cleaner, but you know, those ones that come out, stick forward, and they've got the big cone filters on the front, like this one here. I've heard that's the whole reason these things are made, basically so that the air cleaner is out of the way of your leg. So I'm going to be taking this one back off and uh, we put the one that was on here on Miss Blockhead's bike. So she gets a very cool Roland Sands air cleaner on there. I'm going to install this uh, heavy breather performance air cleaner for Milwaukee 8 engines from Harley Davidson, their Screaming Eagle performance line. So. Uh, Let's get to it. First things first, as always, removing this one. Lots of bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six bolts on the inside. We're going to be quick about this. Actually, since you guys have seen this thing taken off before, if you want a detailed uninstallation video of it, go watch that video, which I will link down in the description below. So I'm going to run through this real quick and do some editing like, what is that one channel? Oh, hey. Yeah. All right, there we go. Throttle body, stock air cleaner, pieces. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 14 bolts for the stock air cleaner. All right, so let's get to unboxing this one and installing it. All right, so here's everything that comes with the Screaming Eagle Heavy Breather intake. We have the filter element. You have the tubing that comes out of the throttle body. You have the plate that basically covers up all this part right here. You have the uh, mounting bracket, which, I mean, I don't know what I expected, but ordering this stuff from Harley Davidson, man, it just looks such like good quality. And then you've got package with some instructions. You've got O-rings, zip tie, sticker, and then some gaskets as well. So we're going to read through the instructions real quick and get to installing this thing. All right, so step one says to install the throttle body cover to the back plate with the self-tapping screws. This is the cover. This is the back plate. Lines up like that. And those are the self-tapping screws. Use Loctite. There you go. Next direction says, remove the backing from the adhesive side of the induction module pl back plate gasket, align the holes, install the gasket to the plate. That looks pretty lined up, right? Next step says, install the new square rings in the counterbore around the breather screw holes on the induction module side of the back plate. Square rings, that confused me until I saw these. So these are rings. But they're squared off, right? So those go right there and right there. So the next step says to align the holes in the induction module that with the holes in the back plate. This. So we gotta line all that up. After you line that up with the throttle body or induction module, lightly thread the screws that you're going to put into here with Loctite. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so those are in, it's not tightened down. And it says to put these into where the breather bolts will go. Like that, there. Man, this is a hell of a setup. Way more involved than some third party aftermarket. The engineers really go above and beyond. It's Harley Davidson OEM parts. Then we're gonna take the breather bolts, lightly thread them in. By the way, T45, and these ones in here, four millimeter hex. Gotta say, that is a pretty perfect fit. Torque spec on the breather screws, 
is 120 to 140 inch pounds, emphasis on inch pounds, and the back plate mounting screws is 55 to 60 inch pounds. Torque to spec. Next step says to install the air filter element onto the intake tube until the until it is fully seated in the groove, tighten the clamp around the filter element flange. So you got the groove here and the filter element there. All right, it's installed, tighten that down. Next step, line up the holes in the gasket with the holes in the intake tube. This part, there's the gasket. These already have thread locker on them. Why they can't do that with all of them, who knows? So this, with that, line those up just like that. Then you're gonna place this onto that. The air filter element has a torque spec of 45 to 55 inch pounds and the intake tube and gasket screws, basically these here, have a torque spec of 55 to 60 inch pounds. After that, it says you can install the rain sock over the air filter element in wet or rainy conditions to prevent water intrusion. So the rain sock is here. So if I wanted to install that, it's as easy as just slipping it over it. Just like that. Hasn't been too rainy lately, so I'll just store it in my little trunk space. That's how you install the Screaming Eagle Heavy Breather Performance Intake. I gotta say, the engineering behind it, pretty crazy. Very detailed and uh, definitely feels quality. So there's a difference between installing many other different brand intakes versus OEM. I definitely like the way it makes the bike look once I get this exhaust off of here. It'll complement it a lot more. And since it is forward like this, I'm gonna still have some room for my leg to pass by instead of it sticking out like that and it's sticking into the side of my leg. So you can see the differences between how that one sets and how this one sets. Pretty big difference, right? Here, I'll do a quick cut back and forth so you guys can see. Pretty crazy, right? Anyways, we'll ride with this one, see how it does. Next up, gonna be installing a tuner on it, but that's how you install that. If you guys are interested in any of it, links down in the description below. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to post up in the comments down below. I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not a certified mechanic. I'm just a dude in his garage that likes to wrench on his bikes, and I've been doing so for some time now. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit that like button if you're not subscribed already. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon as well so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. If you guys enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that share button as well if you have friends out there that might enjoy content like this. Sharing is caring. Till next time you guys, ride safe out there, stay vigilant. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.